So welcome to Wine Time. Everything you need to know to get you ready for Rouge et Blanc. Oh. With the grape. Or the muscadine. Or the blueberry. Depends Man, on where you're from. I'm just telling you what. I think you take that grape, you put it in that jug. And me, when I make my wine, I get all barefoot. I take a bat. Make sure you take uh, a bat first, then you mush the grape. Gotta clean it. You gotta get it mushed between your toes real good. We make know sure. we know about good feet too. That's right. That's right. We know about the good feet. You gotta have the good feet and the good grape to make the good wine. I agree. Yeah, you mush that. You mush that. <laughs> With Lucy and Ethel getting in a big vat and stepping on it and smashing them down till the juice comes out. Hope your feet are clean. Uh, what? After they pick them, they put them in barrels and then they smush them, smush them with their feet. Jesus. And then that's the old way of doing it, right? Yeah. Do they still do that? They don't still do that. I believe that foot stomping no longer happens, and if it does, I don't want to know that it still happens. So we're going to pretend that that process has been refined over the years. It's my understanding, I guess now with technology, there's machinery to do that that work, but uh, I guess you press the wine with your feet, um, which really makes me question why you would drink that if somebody was stepping on it with their feet. So wine is made by crushing grapes to release the sugar in their juice. Uh, the juice is naturally fermented when yeast comes in contact with the sugar in the grape juice. The fermented wine is then separated from the uh, grape solids and transferred into a cask where it is clarified stabilized and maybe taken through optional processes before the wine is bottled. Cheers!